Gas pressure is the result of billions of rapidly moving gas particles simultaneously colliding with an object. Air exerts pressure on Earth because gravity holds the gas particles in air within Earth's atmosphere. This is called the atmospheric pressure. The gas particles fly around freely, but gravity pulls most of them closest to the Earth's surface. So atmospheric pressure is greater at sea level and decreases as you move higher in altitude, like climbing a mountain or flying in an airplane. The SI unit for air pressure is the pascal. However, this is such a small unit of measure that we often use kilopascals, which is a thousand pascals. Standard atmospheric pressure, the pressure at sea level, is about 101.3 kilopascals. Two older units are still commonly used, millimeters of mercury and atmospheres. Since these units are still used, we need to be able to convert between them. Here's how they relate. We can use this relationship to set up conversion factors and solve problems like this one. I use dimensional analysis when I solve conversion problems like this. First, I write the given quantity, and I multiply by a conversion factor that will compare the given unit to the new unit. Putting the starting unit on the bottom of my conversion factor will cancel it, and then I put the new unit on the top. The relationship between the two units comes from this relationship right here. So for the first conversion, multiplying by 1 over something just means to divide. So 253 divided by 760 equals 1.333 atmospheres. In the other conversion, 253 times 101.3, then divide that by 760 to get 33.7 kilopascals.